What's up YouTube, Sean here with a update on Project Cubal. So if you've been watching, Project Cubal is a very low budget, about 64 to 68 gallon uh, cube aquarium. Uh, it's run by, uh, I'm sorry, filtered by a, a sump, 20 gallon long, do it yourself sump. And um, I've got a ton of live rock in here. Uh, probably, I would say 60 to 80 pounds of live rock. That big rock on the bottom is is probably 15 to 20 pounds by itself. It's pretty hefty. Um, it's not really there for uh, filtration, but more just for a foundation uh, to to help me build a cave. Um, anyhow, uh, one of the biggest things I uh, had going on with this tank. Uh, was Aptasia. Aptasia was a problem. I've been throwing uh, peppermint shrimp in here to try to deal with the Aptasia and it has not really worked. So um, I went out and saw my friends over at uh, Rick's Fish and Pet Supply in Frederick. I posted a video of uh, the Niger Trigger that I got from them and also a um, medium sized fall fish had come at the same time. It hadn't even been unloaded yet. So uh, Rick gave me a good deal on it. Amanda took care of me over there. And uh, I want to give a shout out to both Amanda and uh, Rick. Um, and the great news here is this fall fish has gone to work on this tank. Um, it's chomped up all the Aptasia and it's in the process of probably finishing it off right now. So you can see. Um, the fall fish here, he is ugly as all hell, but he's beautiful in my book because he's rid this aquarium of uh, Aptasia. So I can go ahead and now start the process of uh, getting some frags uh, going and, and, and working on some coral. So you can see he's kind of camera shy, but he is hungry. And the rest of the fish have been starving. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, feed them for this addition here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the filtration system off so I can get them as much food as possible. Uh, this return pump is about 950 GPH and it sucks water out of this thing very quickly. So um, if I don't uh, do something about turning off the filtration uh, when feed in the, the food just gets sucked right out so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the um, power off on that and then we're gonna go ahead and uh, feed them some uh, prepared uh, frozen brine shrimp so back here I've got the control for the Duval and I've got a power strip that handles the Filtration. And I've got a cover up top, which I didn't remove. Uh, CJ's Aquariums always recommends that you take the cover off, but I haven't done that. Um, but I do have a feeding hole on the top of it. So there is Brian Shrimp. They're about to go to town on that. Probably a little much, but you can see the uh, peppermint shrimp that really didn't do anything for the Aptasia. Uh, they're snacking on it at the bottom of the rocks there. There's one of the peppermint shrimp. And I've also got a cleaner shrimp in here, so he's gonna come out, get some food. And I'm not even sure if the foul fish is interested in eating shrimp. Um, looks like he's just interested in eating Aptasia, which is sweet.
So anyway, uh, Project Cubal looks to be uh, ready for prime time and ready for some corals. So um, I've entered into Rico's uh, reef tank coral giveaway. I hope to win some from him. Uh, but in case I don't, um, I still will be uh, working on getting some uh, coral going in this aquarium. Um, I'll be checking for um, some parameters to make sure uh, everything's all good to go. Um, I've had pretty much the diatome bloom happen in this aquarium already. I used um, some water change water from Project Fowler as well as the live rock came out of Project Fowler. So um, this tank didn't take very much um, cycling time and it's been up and running now for a couple months. So uh, the delay has been the Aptasia issue. I didn't want to throw anything there and have the Aptasia take it over. And um, now we're good to go. So that's it. That's the update on Project Cubal. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please hit the clownfish on the bottom of my screen to subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching.